Uh, this topic is called Le Chatelier's Principle, and it kind of ties in that last thing you learned when you were talking about Q versus K and the reaction shifting. Um, we said, oh, well, if it's shifting left, that's because it's going away from the products. We need more reactants or fewer products. Um, Le Chatelier's Principle describes situations where that happens, um, where you have a system that's at equilibrium. We have the right ratio of products to reactants. We have that K value. Uh, but then something happens. It messes it up um, that makes the reaction be out of equilibrium. So the reaction will adjust. If it needs to make more products to fix it, it will. If it needs to make more reactants, it will. Um, and it will shift. We generally say left towards the reactants or right towards the products in order to fix, in order to fix it. Um, so how does a reaction get messed up, as I said? Um, if we change the concentration of one of our reactants or products, if we change the temperature at all, and if for gases only, if we change the pressure or volume. So pressure and volume are for gases only. Changing any of those things throws off that particular balance that made the reaction be at equilibrium. Um, and it's up to us to figure out which way it will shift to adjust. Now, I teach this topic through a really silly analogy. Um, I think it works for most people, uh, but it's not how you'll find it described in like lots of other videos. Uh, Miss Prater for sure makes fun of the way I teach this, but that's okay. She knows I'm doing it this way. Um, I, use a, I use two different concepts, two different analogies. One will work for concentration and temperature. The other will work for pressure and volume. So prepare yourself. Um, let's say I have this reaction. A plus 2B is in equilibrium with C. The question would say something like, tell the shift if um, I can say more B is added or more C is added or some A is removed. Okay, so this is an example of what the question would look like. Um, I like to say, pretend that you have level ground. And we want that ground to remain level. Now, most of these changes, these are all forms of concentration, adding or getting rid of something. Um, if we have more of something, it's like we're adding more stuff to the ground and it creates this little hill. If we're removing something, it's like we're taking it away and it creates a hole. So all of these changes will create a hill or a hole, in my analogy. For instance, if more B is added, well, B is on the left side of the arrow. All I care about is left and right. I don't care about, you know, further to the left, like left of the arrow at all is fine. Um, so more B is added means I'm putting more stuff on this side of the arrow. So I have a hill here. That doesn't raise easily. I have a hill there because of the question. Um, and my job is to figure out how am I going to get this back to flat ground? Flat ground represents equilibrium. So I want to smooth out that hill. I want to push some of this that way towards the right. By pushing it to the right, you can imagine me smoothing this out and reflattening it. So if I had more B, that's a hill on the left. Smoothing it out to the right gets me flat ground. Um, now, if that felt a little strange, crazy, just watch a few more examples, um, and it should work. Okay, we always start with flat ground. Now, going to question B. If more C is added, well, there's C. It's on the right side of the arrow. So if I drop more stuff there, that's a hill on the right. I want to smooth it out. So I'm going to send it to the other side. I'm going to smooth it out and send it that way to the left. Um, part C, if, I have, if I'm removing A, well, A is on the left side of the arrow. So if I remove some A, I'm going to end up with a hole over here. I need to fill that hole in to get back to level ground. The only place I can push dirt to fill in that hole from is the right. So I'm going to take, even though this isn't here anymore, that was from the last question. I'm going to take dirt from the right and push it to the left in order to fill 
that hole in. Those are answers, right and left. Sometimes we'll get an answer of no change, um, but not for any examples like this, so don't worry about that yet. Um, try the try problems. Definitely don't look at the answers first. Just try the lefts and the rights. Um, if you can get left and right, that's the vast majority of everything we're going to do.